am I so hard to love? At the end of episode three, Lucrezia and Cesare, their sexual lust and mistrust kind of bubbles up to a head. There's an intimacy there that, that can't be broken, so why not just embrace it? Don't you love God, Cesare? It's more than I love you. <laughs> I remember in season one, I had an argument with Neil because he didn't want us to play any form of sexual tension. And I told him, that's what you wrote. They already whisper it of us. Why deny ourselves the pleasure? I really came to feel, how long can we have this brother and sister in this incestuous suspension? So I said, let's construct a situation where out of the complication of Lucrezia's marriage, she feels absolutely in love. You will be my husband tonight. I kind of thought it would never happen, actually. And it's like, wow, that line has really actually been crossed. Gosh. <laughs> it's definitely not just about sex. They've never found anybody else. Or I shall never love a husband as I love you, Cesare. There's not a lot of people in their world that they can trust. Even their father, you know, Alexander has forced Lucrezia into marriages and situations she doesn't want to be part of. <laughs> and Cesare can't get what he wants from Alexander. Give me command in time, Cesare. So with that fracture in the relationship between them and their father, the two of them find trust in each other. Only a Borgia can truly love a Borgia. Once they cross this Rubicon, they're doomed in terms of their relationship. There's a boundary that's been broken. There's no going back. Are they going to crack apart? Or are they going to become even more unified than before? Maybe we both can work our way to happiness. It could potentially bring danger, but also I think it creates a safe place for them to go that doesn't have anything to do with the father. And I think it cost them a lot to refuse that for so long. The Borgias, Sundays at 10, only on Showtime.